And that that is so right, John. We've been out here all day. Uh, the winds are still picking up. It's not dying. Powers are being, uh, well, power is slowly coming back. It's being restored as we speak, but there's still a lot more work to be done. We've traveled all across the island all day long uh, from uprooted trees that crush this car in Babylon to PSG crews just working hard trying to restore and repair everything across the area. There were down poles, there were down tree limbs uh, that blocked streets. It made it really tough for folks to navigate around the area. There's still some cleanup. PSCNG says it's all about prioritizing. It was pretty wild. Uh, I'm just glad it didn't flood, though. <laughs> the, the winds were bad. I usually park right where that tree is, <laughs> so luckily I didn't park there last night. First and foremost, if there's a public safety or a municipal concern, uh, a wire down near a school or a uh, wire down near a car, a major blocked road, a hospital without power. Those items come in through different systems and they go to the top of the queue because we need to Let's react to those. Down. All right, and there were peak wind gusts throughout the overnight and throughout the day, averaging anywhere from about 50 to 60 to 70. The most reported was actually in Stony Brook at 83 miles per hour. That's like hurricanes force winds. And I mean, most of the damage was across the island, especially eastern Suffolk uh, along the North Shore. You were also getting reports of the South Shore, but it looks now like uh, the North Shore got hit the hardest. And of course, PSE&G says that they're hoping to have 99% of power restored later on tonight and there may be a few leftovers into the early morning hours but we'll just have to just kind of stick with it and wait and see how things uh, prevail but it looks like uh, progress is being made. John, Heidi.